So you were born in Sweden, and when you were growing up there until age six, how did your yeah. parents explain that situation to you? And were you aware of why you were there? Hmm, it's an interesting question, but no. So I never felt like I was not supposed to be there. If I think about it retrospectively, I, as kids do, we just are where our parents place us, you know. And it's it's as long as you're safe, as long as you have a roof over your head. Mm-hmm. You don't question too much, you know, when you're younger. But it was only when I got older, obviously we'd moved from Sweden, that like my parents would tell me a little bit, you know, because I think I did ask, why why are we leaving this place? Why are we in South Africa kind of thing? And they started explaining slowly but surely, exile, apartheid, this and that. And obviously our history lessons were all about apartheid. And then I kind of started putting pieces together. Mm-hmm. So, I never felt like I wasn't supposed to be in Sweden. I just, it was life. I was growing up. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind me asking, was your father a political figure in in South Africa? Is that why your family was in exile? So, yeah, now this gets a little bit complicated because I don't know the full details, but I can tell you what I do know. He was very involved with um, the ANC and the free- freedom fighters, you know, in Conte with Siswe and all of that. And, um, yeah, so they they met in exile, got married, had kids. They just traveled, you know, not by force. <laughs> it wasn't because they wanted to. They've just been all over the world. And eventually, I guess, Sweden, you know, Sweden was very helpful during apartheid. And they landed up there. I think my mom say there about 15 years more or less, but my dad was not always around. Um, he was fighting for the freedom of South Africa, you know. Mm-hmm. And he's not with us at the moment uh, anymore, but he makes me very proud. I read up on this a little bit, actually, uh, to prepare for our interview today. And apparently uh, the Swedish government was more generous to the apartheid than any other government in the world. They were incredible. Yeah. I have huge respect Sweden, not only because I'm a national, <laughs> that's one, but two, I think <clears throat> for any country to open their arms like that is just unbelievable. I mean, if we think about how many of the countries there are in the world, not many were open to doing that, you know. And I think till today, Sweden is the same, you know, they're very open, they're very welcoming. Um, yeah, 